Okay. Let's go after Redmo. Alma. Alma. Cuteness. That's a thing. That's a stalker site. What are you doing here? Oh, there's action going on over there. Talana's on the ground. How much did Assis pay you? That sounds like her. Okay. I'm gonna need the blast sling for this. Let's switch over to Arrow Breaker. These must be the Outlanders that followed Talana. Looks like a cease hired some thugs. Mind. They're still looking. The pressure. Everyone okay? It is Talana is okay. How are you doing? Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They die for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his thrush. Of course he does. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride, even though he knew we needed to win Seek Assis. You're running kind of slow. What's that? Follow me. Aren't you coming? I'm not sure where Assis and Redmaw went from here. I can follow their tracks. Follow me. This way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. Damn, that's some destruction. I fear we're too late. The 
carcass. I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. There he is. Redmaw. Asis is holding his own. Ow. Was. Was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us. Okay, look at switch to tail blast. Give me all the tail blast. Actually, let's try that tail blaster. Put it on the sharp shot. How much can you shoot at the same time? Yeah, I probably need to get closer. Okay. Sharp shot back. The damage coils. By the sun, we did it. Well, do I have damage coils? Uh, the sharp shot first. Thirty-seven and tear forty-one. That's thirty-eight and fire. Put it down. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight and fire. Lovely. And you want to replace this? 22 with 38. Not bad.
Oh, the thief. Didn't he fly off somewhere around here? And one of these. Hello there, beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. What about that? Yeah, there he is. You okay, dude? You don't look so good. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive. In dark times. No. You buried it. Along with my father's memory. I should have. I should have. Stay down and shut up. I should have let you fight Redmore first. To soften him up. Hmm. <laughs> Such a bad death. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. Okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Sure. Alicia. Okay. Um, I want this, and that's it. Damn, they didn't get a storm belt lens. They got a storm belt heart. Echo shell, metal burn, metal vessel, blaze, chill water. Extra stuff, <clears throat> extra stuff, still. And... Yeah, keep it for now. Poor feet. Your poor feet. I had to take over my brother's shit today. I'm sure as the sun's rising, he's off court in that note. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, cool. all people, to follow. Cool. Look, a memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. 
Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here. If you want it. What happens now, in the Lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This Lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Khan Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish. Cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Cool. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. May you always take your prey. Hey, Lloyd, despite the no. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. The grave hold. Okay. Leader strike. Combat override. And the holder. Now. Have a lot more to store. Uh, reward box. Trampler charger, some stuff. Ah, those that I've already opened. They're the same. Okay, enough of that. Back on the Vadma. Where do I need to go? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna wait in the frozen wilds. Should I? I mean, it should have. You know, the better weapons are in the new game plus. I'm gonna go the. If I get triggered, or or if I get uh, after after the game. Watcher lens, charger lens, lens on lens. Weapon coil, which I'm not going to use. Okay, um, keep, the, keep the rest. 
All That's the good. way up there. See a fish, let me know. The grave rod. How do I climb this thing? Easy, easy. Yeah, that's not the way. My clothes are all white. place. That's a tank. That's a very weird tank. This must be the pass Artur was talking about. With Banuk territory just above. Okay, but we're going to the grave hold first. That does it. Time to take a look around the room. First of all, get the necklace. Village some corpses. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Okay, here we go. Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the Lodge of Mother's Heart, I guess. Voice log, play it. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, what was this place? The sea was on fire. That stuff was. <sighs> the first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. <sighs> they bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the la 
last time I was in California, I was five, six. The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. <laughs> Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. <laughs> Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, that everything will be the way it used to be. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. Metal. The swarm's getting better at predicting us. Less of it us now. The metal world. And we have to put in ten it's times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had hmm. in the eyes of the people out there. One bed. I remember when they were glad Maybe to see us. Room. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Or whatever the hell that is. Corporal Sarai. Looking back, I thought 64 was shaping up to be a pretty good year. No more drinking, no more mercenary sack work, sleeping offshore wind farms for the OEZ, just me and a plasma cutter 400 feet above sea level. Then I got a recall alert. I had them up on a turbine and the smell of cooking ozone. They covered every angle. Better pay, amnesty for any combined, combined wars you'd fought in, guaranteed citizenship. We should have thought, okay, what's the, what's the catch? But what we did think was, I guess we're better than the bots after all. Big talk from Harry's from Harris about pride and duty. Smart guy. He was right. I've been proud to be a US soldier. I jumped at the chance to be one again. And look what I landed in. Red light. Guess that means no power. These wires must run to the power source. Can you track them? Whatever power this door should be close by. Useful information. 
I come out settings for nearby hollow. Up, down. Left, right. Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Consult GT Tech. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the Geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature's poem free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech, now did you? As usual, I defy expectations. That's two. One more. Up, up, down, down. Okay, that did it. Sounds like that did it. <laughs> okay, after opening the ancient door, look around. And if you find the power cell. Tools being used. And voices. There's the power cell. Must be another way in. She went that away. Oh, it's him. You know where I am. Come get me. Looking for answers, just weapons. Pick up the thing and Let's shoot him with it.
Keep that for later. Irregular ancient charm. That's a nice kill position. Anything else I might be missing? Okay, time to figure out how do I get there. Probably through there. Let's get the gun. jump I probably do oh well I believe in you. Voicemail. Tools for delivery. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andreas and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same. But I believe in you. I believe in us. Oh. Please reply. Rejected for delivery. Ames? I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Uh-huh. Yes, unit status report, then Fionum, you're rejected for delivery. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities 
suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. That is approved for release. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business, I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Yeah, it sounds... Editing the food. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. Uh-huh. Severely edited. Employment records. Operation Kickback, Reno Nevada, Civilian Guard and Armor Battalion skirmished with Vanguard elements of Pacific Northwest Swarm PN-12. Engagement began at 600 hours and concluded with a withdrawal at 2100 hours the following day. Losses in excess of 40% reported. Operation Thick Skull, Shenan Shenandoah Valley Estate Tech. Virginia, 12th MLB, supported by civilian guard, fought a rear guard action against the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-17. Engagement began at 18, 800 hours, at approximately 1400 hours, 12th MLB reported the position was overrun and received the transition to detonate a safe tech facility, inflicting significant damage on ES-17. Surviving elements of 12th MLB were drawn to Akron Cleveland Defensive Line. Operation Body Blow, Akron, Ohio, 9th and 10th MRBs, supported by sustained aerial strikes, assaulted the Horus class Titan resupply in the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-18. The engagement began at 400 hours and concluded at 2200 hours with the elimination of the Titan. Note that this is 9th MRB's third Titan kill with minimal losses. Brigade readiness status. Third MRB refused recall orders from Operation Pinch Hit. Deployment along Pensacola, Tallahassee defensive line. Court martial proceedings underway. Seventh MRB recalled from New York engagement zone to reinforce Wichita Theater. Ready. Ninth MRB refitting at USRC facilities. Ready. Tenth MRB transferred from Cal Mauer. Terra corrupted. Full already. Full of what? Health potions. Can I disassemble health potions? No. A map of what? The world. Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? <laughs> During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow... Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? 
That's the big question. Too much ritual. Holy crap is that. Don't tell me you're waking that thing up. Tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Oh, great. I can't handle this. Um, I need I need something. I need shadows, at least a bit. Okay. It's not responding at all. Why can't I take that thing off? Keep highlighting. Ah, 
Definitely a lens. Whew, yeah, that's a nasty one. But they had tanks and probably energy weapons. when she said, yeah, the shadow of the Earth's cast on the moon during eclipses is round. It's obviously a globe. Atmosphere degradation. 20, August 2065, confidential. Chief findings. Despite increased tactical proficiency of elite and civilian guard units and many hard won engagements in the Central European, Antarctic, and Pacific Reach theaters, the Faro Plague's rate of advance has not slowed, nor has its biomass consumption rate. Damage to the biosphere has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and grows worse by the day. Extinction timeline projections remain unchanged, with OAC predicted for mid-November 2065, annihilation of exposed human populations in February 2066, extinction of macrobiotic land organisms by the end of March 2066, and extinction of marine life in early 2068. And here's secrecy, re-project Zero Dawn, the art of silence regarding its mechanism, mechanism of actions and completion date, make it impossible to predict Zero Dawn's impact or lack of impact on the extinction timeline. Atmospheric collapse. Atmospheric oxygen depletion and toxic emissions remain the greatest environmental threat to Operation Enduring Victory, as well as the wider civilization, civilian population and animal life. Operational atmospheric collapse 
is currently predicted for mid-November 2065, after which military personnel will require rebreathing apparatuses to operate in the, in the open, and civilian will only be able to survive inside sealed structures. The requirements for air scrubbing and recycling in facilities is addressed in Addendum A linked to this report. Potable water shortages, major water treatment facilities, and already struggling to process water sources compromised by rainfall, heavily contaminated by toxins emitted by consumption of the eastern hemisphere. Following the necessary shutdown of all nano scrubbing functionality, wastewater recycling is already beyond capacity. Military response escalation. Addenda linked to this document cover the short-term effects of scorched earth engagements in defense of the western seaboard and the ongoing effects of the oceanic economic zone, use of nuclear weapons to delay the enemy's initial advance across the Pacific theater. Data corrupted. Deathbringer lands. Yeah. Got too much already. Okay, I'm bringing up the graphics for this. Thank you, Dr. Sober. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobeck has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... that can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... we'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it, and it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime! It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Total biomass Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? It's where you the base where you launch orbitals. No? Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. Obviously. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. 
Admiral Pallas is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. To curse the darkness. Let's see what we have over here. How the hell do I get down? Now, how am I going to get down from here? Oh, That's... this should be quite the ride. Wait, really? Wait. Now, how am I going to get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. Whee! Holy hell. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Yeah, riding the metal devil. Okay, so first of all, save here. won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's the ancient past that concerns me, Eloy, not my <gasps> own. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. <laughs> Why do they thread blue cables through their skin? Like it's everywhere. Was this fire in this cold?
Yeah, that's a new one. Demon demonic machines. Override impossible. Demonic machines are more powerful and have stronger elemental resistances than their normal counterparts. They are forced to be reckoned with. Signs shock and corruption. Scorcher. Hard data casing to protect synthetic muscle and operating systems. Weaknesses freeze. Override locked. Blaze container. Fire. Mine launcher. Power generator. Sparker resources can be looted. Explosive proximity mine. And the blaze canister. Doesn't have it. They're angry. You want please? You want to play with please? Let's play with please. Why there are resist fire potions? Holy hell. Useful. Nice lighting scheme. They saw me. Outlander on the mountain. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Ha! 
You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Give me a safe you point. made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. I'm happy to make your acquaintance. What the hell is that thing? Smoke rising from the mountain. That smoke? The village too. What's it for? Is that a volcano? Trust her rare, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are, waiting. Our shaman has abandoned us. Our chieftain has led our best to their deaths. Where should we find hope now? The ray has been gone a long time. Does anyone have a campfire so I can save? May Aurea find whatever wisdom she's looking for out there in the wild. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Oh, here's a campfire. Should I be interested? No, I think I'll save this for next time. Long's Edge. Okay. Um, into the frozen wilds. To coast the darkness. Oh, that's far away. Okay, we'll start from here next time. Uh, fish? Fish? Please give me fish skin. Nah. mark the next campfire and do it from there. I don't know why I don't have it already. Fish hill? Nope. 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 That's a green one. Useless. <coughs> oh, 
What the hell is this place? <laughs> An abandoned fort. Oh, John. No? So they're guarding a campfire and a tower. Fish. Any fish. Okay, never mind. Heading there next time. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I have about an hour and a half before I have to go. So I'll pad out a bit the video from yesterday. I remember the view from Meridian on the east edge of this. I wanted to go to where Silence told me I should go. How about some fish? Fish. Yes. Yes. Ratlo. Tablast Ratlo. That's it. Now Ratlo can go up to one fifty. Nutritious. Soldier is good for me. Nearly there. Let's go. Hey Lord. You're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. 
I do all dangerous stuff. You just listen in. <laughs> Stay there. I'll do the rest. There are the handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. Hmm. At least there's a campfire. All right. What now? You wait, that's what. Nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. A long way to yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you will need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. I guess base. I should rest up. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I, I brought you around to the back way. Leads. It's right through that crevice. Once <laughs> you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified climb the tall neck grafted into the top of its disc you'll find a module of sorts destroy that and the focus network will crash that is it so you were part of the eclipse i've never been part of anything i serve my own interests always but it is the case that i assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become, it was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. You're an annoying quest giver. Like every one of them. <laughs> Machines patrolling like guards. Let's switch to stealth. More like soldiers held in reserve for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. The back way. I didn't say it easy. Long leg. Long leg. Watch her. Red eye. I think I'm also going to need the bow for this. Sharp arrows. I need a long leg to look away. There we go. <laughs> Hit it! Hit it!
stay out of their way for now. Another long leg. No, 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 come on. Damn it. We got another one. Fish. That's all right. Okay. How do I get up though? Oh, yeah. What does this go? Oh, that's another way to climb. Got it. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. Uh huh. Scrappers all around. And I can't corrupt them. I can't break the power cell. <clears throat> More than equipped to take you on. That's your track, but you're not walking it.
Okay. Uh, switch to corruption eater and give me the, the sling. the slink. Okay. Nice damage coil. No more antidotes. Keep that for later. No fish. Getting close now. Head for that ridge. The tall neck's just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. I see it. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Okay, back to stealthing. Heavy. Righteous one. How the fiends pulse with the power, radiating the anger of 
of shadow. Haven't you got anything better to do? The machines show us the way. No pity, only destruction. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. Yeah. Wife, voice log, item tags missing, and verified format, dead integrity unknown. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. Seriously? A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Huh. Your body... Stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Huh. Without pity. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself, or another. Chosen of the Sun.
When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the chosen of the sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy, and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the Wheel of Time would require more than Sun and Faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. Meridians fall. My lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as Alert. their cannons forged by Osaroff filth topple here. the battlements and burst the gates, I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. Itamen coddled. So long as King Itamen languishes at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. Yeah, don't do that. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Oh, see. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates, debased. The spire. Top. Uh. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare, the same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates, debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure, but the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken, the profligate slaughtered, a true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag the tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module, and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. 
Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climate. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and destroy it. I have a focus. Maybe it's not your kind of focus, but I know what I'm doing. I don't see anything special. I see the module. Mm. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Taking a nap. Come on, jump. Jump. Great trail. <laughs> Yeah, I should have switched to Arrow Breaker for this, but never mind. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. 
Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. <laughs> no, completely the opposite. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. To curse the darkness. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Deep Secrets of the Earth. Now, Deep Secrets of the Earth, I think, contains another... Yeah, I'm out of hands. Contains another... Uh, power cell. Call a mount, no. Mount repel, maybe. Balance aim, sure. Precision. Yeah, I'm not really, really into all of that, so let's take precision. Yeah, let's do precision. That's a corrupt zone I haven't cleared. Let's clear it. Tolnek. Before the Tolnek, mark this. Idle site. Where the hell am I? I want this campfire to clear this corrupted zone. Oh, hi. Rabbit. Let's ride. Another have a job. Let's try this. Don't move, stop moving. Ouch. That hurt a 
lot. Got both the cannons. Last one's dead. Okay, just need to hit the one. Ah, crap. Okay, fine. Yeah, the other cannon was destroyed. Right? Yeah. I just have the one. Still the one. That's not a health. Well, okay. that's a health arm. They're heading back. Best way to access from the south. Brew that up later. What do we have though? Behemoth? Actually, let's save with the gun first. Oh, you killed something for me. Oh, nice. No, no, no. Get off the broadhead. Get off the broadhead. My turn. Okay. Let's go kill behemoths. Behemoths, behemoths. No shark, use freeze on the freeze container. And shark on the power cell. But they work well with freeze and actually forecasting. And blast bombs. Three bombs, blast bombs. And protector heavy. Corrupted behemoths. Mm. 
Is this possible? No, it's not. Okay. Bloodhead. Bloodhead. I can handle bloodheads. Cannon. That's it. I'm already gone. Nice fire coil. Oh, saving these for the trail. Great, I'm here, it's clear, and I lost all my components. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, get the tiny watch out. What is a behemoth sight? That's a rock bike. Uh, is there a behemoth sight? Filter. Hang on. I completed all the cauldrons. Right. I think that's a temple. Maybe I'll just go bring a thunder jaw down for fun. Happen. 
Do not show me bandit camps because it's a gun. Do not show me hunting grounds. Don't show me collectibles or... Actually, show me collectibles. Because I'm not done with it. I'm not sure I'm done with all the coldons and all the tonics. I need to check. Hmm. Cauldron. Yeah, I'm not done this. Haven't done this yet. Still need that tall neck. That settlement. I don't really need ruins, right? No, no one knows where I can find the behemoth. Sawtooth. What's that? That looks like a sawtooth. Why doesn't it have its antenna? Thornbird. Can I go get a rock breaker? Let's fly back to Meridian for a bit. <coughs> Okay, by oceans. By ammo. Okay, and give me a mod treasure box. Handy. Yeah, clear the corruption zone. There aren't any more, right? I think I cleared all of them. Okay, let's look at damage coils. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven and tail, thirty-eight and tail. And thirty-nine and tail. No, thirty-nine tail, ten damage. Tail and handling. Give me turn handling. Hunter. 
damage and file. I put file damage and file. Typecaster. File 31. Shock 45. Damage 28. 2 damage 37. That's damage and fire. Damage and handling. Keep it. That low. 20 damage handling and corruption. How about 37 damage and tear? Doesn't really do much tear. Damage and handling. Handling. I'll take a slight decrease in damage for a big boost in handling. Shadow sling. Freeze and fire. <coughs> Freeze and shock. Shock and fire. Last. 36 and tail. 23. 37 and tail. 29. 30 and handling. Yes. Podcaster handling, handling, handling. Handling and tower. Warbow, reason tower. Shock damage. Corruption. Corruption and freeze. I don't like using corruption coils. Corruption arrows, fine. I'll sell the rope caster. And sell some traps. No. Sell resources. This and this. Shell, metal burn, grapple, water lens, blaze, chill water, this I don't need, could use more corruption at least. Sell the orchestra. Wish I could sell that. Okay. Alright, I didn't check modifying the outfits. Corruption. Option 28, resist melee. Okay. Stealth. Stealth. Stealth, Stealth 12, resist ranged. Shock. 24 shock. Freeze. No addition to freeze. Melee. No resist melee. Slightly better this is ranged. This is ranged. Stealth and freeze, no, I prefer stealth. Okay. 
and fire. Resist fire, resist choke. Cool. Now, sell. Don't need this. Don't need this. All this, all this, all this. Handling, corruption, shock. Please, fire, tell. Tight damage. I'm not sure about the spear. Please a weapon coil. Yeah, I have all my blocks. Was this shock? What did I get? Was this no? Optimus caution no. By the sun, a woman now leads the hunters. What's next? A woman is. Please call resist for his call. Please call and resist for his call. Ne. Forty-one freeze, fourteen fire. Shock and fire. Tell you this. And that's it. By this. Uh, 
Okay. You'll need a stone belt lens. I got your necklace, but not the rest of it yet. Maybe I should just go to take down a stone belt. For fun. Corruption weapon coil. Yeah. I'd like an opportunity to share a drink with Aaron. There's a man. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Yeah, Aaron is Perhaps cool. your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? Gave you everything already. Okay, switch to resisting shock. And where do I find the storm belt? Storm belt. Also, Last Sling, Shadow Sling, and Rope Castle. Yeah. It's not close enough. Hey, you. Your attention, please. Thank you. Come get me. Bow, over here, Rattler over there. Freeze coil, resist ranged attack, no lens. Oof, it's hard. Freeze coil.
Well, the other one, does this freeze? Or is this strange that the... Ooh! Was it strange? Was it freeze and resist melee? Nice. Still no lenses. Oh. Fine. Why do they want me to talk to the hunting grounds master? I already gave you everything. Okay, I should go. I'll just save here. That's the target. Save. Is there a Ravager I can steal? Yeah, let's kill the Ravager. That's not a Ravager. That's a Templar. Sunfall. The Mad King Duran's summer palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. <laughs> but they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. The Forbidden West, yeah, it's, um, it's up against, right up against the shield wall. Uh That's what I'm hoping. Bye quest. Shut up. A ceasefire? The apostates started a war. Now they want us to sit on our hands. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow. Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. Yeah, she doesn't look so good. He loves Oath. It's not that far. It's down there. Oh, sure. Let's go have a chat.
Are you Galeev, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left? That's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. <laughs> What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. <laughs> Take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass healer. <laughs> There's no cure for a conscience. But in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. <laughs> it is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Yeah, I already have one. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's salve your poor conscience. See to the girl, and it's yours. Not before. Oh, please. On my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in a crowd. Well, excuse me. Kestrels were apostate spies. They're reporting to that false king as we speak. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you. What did we do to deserve. No. Wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention. Won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. How can we just decide not to strike back against the Okay, I'll just kill a few more Santa Jaws. Oh, I have I have quite a few of them. But I don't have don't have a storm build lens. I put the lifespan of this ceasefire at it. These are goods, they're necessities. Conducting treatment. Nice behemoth, nice behemoth. The submarine. The proud tradition of the cult. It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Give them time. I'm sure they miss it. Now 
Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did I crash the... Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Circulate? What does circulate mean? To show loyalty to our cause, even if they are getting paid? Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the shadow come to gawk at our end of their own. Should pay see well. You gawk when we finally... By the glory of the sun revealed. Where's your back armor? Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. He's a kid. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter Aww. who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. That's nothing. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Yeah. Hmm. Love your hair. <sighs> you and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. You sound, sound familiar. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on. Titus Bounty. Who said, well, like Shadow Kajafs has been marked for death by High Priest Pahavas, must be more than meets the eye. Yeah, he's a Transformer. For the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. This is it insane. Makes quite an impression. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. Okay. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll do the this first. Wait, how do I climb down? If you're uh, gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. <laughs> Another manhunt. How many men and women can one tribe lose? Odin. Leader of Odin's Marvels. You've a fresh face. When you're less an eye or an ear or two, you'll fit right in. <laughs> First impressions make the sale, except in this snake pit. They'll take whoever shows up. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. This isn't your first job for the Shadow Karja? Scared of their own shadows, Karja, more like. <laughs> They spit on me, but the shards are good. Look at those nobles. I say noble, but you can't dress a rat in silk and call it a rat king, can you? Think again. Sunfall is a house of clay. If you were to stamp your foot, it would all crumble. Shouldn't you all be setting out to hunt Uthid? Have you never done this before? Whoever goes first just leads the others. Just take a load off and avail yourself of some Karja booze until someone sniffs out the trail. Then watch us seek out our prey, straight as a ravager's shot. Zip! Are you sure you're going to be able to walk in a straight line? What are you getting at? Stalkers aim better than ravagers. Do you think Uthid did what they're accusing him of? I hope so. It'll make him more dangerous. My advice, it's best not to overthink such things. 
uh, overthink whether he's guilty or innocent? <laughs> you let all these thoughts in your head, you'll never make it as a mercenary. The only thing that matters is dead or alive. If they say alive, bring a rag to stuff in its mouth. But these days, no one wants alive. I'm more of a huntress than a mercenary. Farewell, Odin. Good hunting. If I should have cause to kill you, you won't suffer. Oh, thanks. thanks. The only thing this ceasefire will Why can't I is prolonging go over there? It is crumbling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't get much hotter. I hope. Um. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. What did I just pass? I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Right, this should be marked. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. Fine, if you put it like that. I hope Bahavas knows what he's doing, bringing in these outlanders. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat. But bring some home for your families, if you have one. He's cool. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Yeah. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. She sounds so familiar. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Who are you? Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Oh, cool. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What's the green climb? What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful <laughs> things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. They can call it a ceasefire, but the usurpers are starving us out, plain and simple. Okay, 700 is a bit far. Closest I have is Shadow Kiln. Or this. 
Spiders. Let's go for the Steiners. Spiders, Spiders. I'm gonna need you. Yeah, I need a mount. Nope. Come on, keep moving. Trampler sites. Three dead trees. Charge your site. Let's go for the campfire over there. At least I'll have that. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. I think this is as far as you go, buddy. Foot tracks stop here. Time to climb. Cauldron Zeta. All right, made it. Where did you food scraps? I'll bet Uth had stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Nothing else. Well, this is a nice place. It's not a vantage point I want, okay. A dead machine. This had been hunting. Hmm. But he's not been collecting his kills. Everything useful has been stripped. Uthid's been gathering components, probably for ammo. Glinthox. Uh, Glinthox, looking to scavenge.
switch to cold resistance. Make a freeze potion. Damn it. this all right back to Uther oh he's up there he go from here That's a raccoon. Uther took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. But he left the cannon. Really? He left the freaking cannon. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. Good. He's making use of what's around him. Ah, don't fall. <clears throat> no tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. 
If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the Sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the Sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Vanasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. <laughs> you give orders like a soldier who's been out. Of course. Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo. Okay, so You bombs. didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. On me! Okay. Give me the blessing in the top slot. And... Arrow breaker. Damn it. Damn you. Okay, let's go with this. On the move. Keep up the attack. We still got another squad on the way. How about you give me proximity bombs? Have a care, Nora. Damn it. Oh, you dropped them. Oh, I can't see them. That won't be the last of them. Follow me. <sighs> I've stashed supplies up above. I've got plenty of supplies.
Um, where do you want me to go? Oh, you need a boost. <coughs> Up and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. Uh, your sleeves, man. What do you have here? Do we have some kind of boss? Oh, come on. Give it up. That was here first. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, marbles. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Oh, you got fire spitters. Can I, I have one? That hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Okay. What are we talking about? Look out! To your left! But my marvels thrive on adversity. Step it up, boy! Haven't you got anything better to do? Incoming! Pile on! Where are they? Patience. Well, go ahead and do it then. You're not gonna see it coming. Get back in there and fight! <laughs> the oh, what's that? Okay, not with these guys. But I do need the upper hand. No! That's the last of the marvels. Bahamut's body had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? Sure. Oh, it was meant to pick up the things, but okay. This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Of course.
Okay, you're passing up valuable shards. Across there and we'll have him. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Okay. Let's go up close and personal. For the faithful. What the hell are they Make doing? As the shadow falls upon them. Ow. Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. That's why. Kill the traitor. Kill Nora. <laughs> the sun sets on your pathetic life. Uthid. Why the fuck are they doing corruption damage? We'll down them strictly. Oh yeah. Kill the traitor! Kill the Nora! You want this? <laughs> oh, you! I thought I was gonna, just gonna go there and kill him. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. That's a huge hat. That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yun Shund, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <laughs> You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. 
How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. <laughs> it wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavis is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. You seem on the money. What do you need to get Nasadi and Itaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend. Three Tohuadiv near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. <laughs> uh, can I have? Can I have the? The Nora said there? you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? He's a forgiving man. Saving me is for the trial. Smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? <laughs> no, that's that's a grimace. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking this with me. Nervous about going to Meridian? I've been a soldier for 20 years. I do not get nervous. <laughs> not even around a pretty lady? I will not dignify that with a response. Okay, I'm not gonna sit around for all of it. Over here. Uh, this one is better. Right, when I travel, I don't take the, the heavy weapon with me. Too bad. At least I'll save. Also, switch back out to the hunter bow. And switch the outfit back to this. Wait, wait, that. Okay, now we can go. Look, I brought a friend. Um, what was the entrance to this place?
Save. Loot. This will be useful later. Okay. Hi. You three to Hodiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Um, Rockbreaker? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful parts. <laughs> so Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Rock, rock breaker or snap jaw? Snap maw. Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. Oh, it tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well... We didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. I tried, didn't work. That's all I can offer, <clears throat> friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Gotcha. Killed the rock breaker. They saw me. This is it. Who saw me? I haven't done anything yet. I think I can hit it from here. Okay, how do I get down there to loot it? My kill, I'm taking the loot.
Please go ahead and shot call it in the heart. Ah, <sighs> perfect. Freeze coil and shock coil. Okay, modify outfits, arrow breaker. 16 resist freeze. 16 resist melee. And freeze coil and the shock coil. Forty eight shock, twenty four damage, seventeen fire. Forty five freeze. Oh, my God. 45 threes, 23 tail, 16 corruption. 43 sh 48 shock, 24 damage, 17 fire. That should go on the sling. Yeah, okay. Shock and fire. Damn, that's intense. That's a great mod. <clears throat> well, did what you couldn't. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Cool. Nice outfit. Ah, nice abs. Huntress. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are you men, <clears throat> Eve? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Really nice abs you've got, though. Hey, you want to borrow my broadhead? <laughs> Where's the boat? And I think they're coming. Oh dear. Here come the Shadow Carger, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Edelman and his mother to the shore. Carefully. Yeah, it looks so, so good. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Okay, first of all, we go with Arrowbanker. Secondly... Uh... Blastling on the top slot. What do we have? I don't see anything. Repair an ambush. Some traps would be nice. Yeah, I have some traps. Set this here.
Take cover up there, behind that rock. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? Well, that was entertaining, but I suspect we're not done. More of the bastards, get ready! Well, let me put some more traps down. Time to prepare. Oh, children, this is just pathetic! Thank you for following! Good night, little ones. Oh, so close. Let's do this. Back down now. Well, now, seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. Oh, a lot of following. Thank you. Thank you, Hershko. Uh, assuming you brought them here. Thanks. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. What is it Damn, now? I spoke too soon. <laughs> this one's mine. Get to Hi. the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. Uh, what's your level? I'm level 50 right now. Wait, that's a corrupted thunder jar. Okay, I can handle that. Okay, I'm fine. Just give me the podcaster. Ouch. Sorry, didn't heal fast enough. Okay, I see you there. Uh, give me the corruption eater and the large rope caster and the fire bow.
are not my problem right now. Okay. Thank you. Good night. And that boy is a nasty one. Ouch. The sun can't save you now. Damn, that hurts. Behemoth. Uh, yeah, I cl last time I played, I cleared the corruption zone with two behemoths. That was the nastiest uh, Thunder Jaw I ever fought. Poof. Fire coil. Damn. Slag shine, no. Okay, let's see what they're up to. <sighs> yeah, at level 50 I'm taking down Stormbirds and Thunder Jaws for fun. That was nasty. Ready to go? Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we?
<sighs> nice subs on her, huh? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. And we're sailing into the sunset. Except I have to go back. Look at the pretty meridian. As fat as me in the main? As far, ah. Uh, yeah, I'm about to hit Sunfall. I basically did all the errands and side quests I could think of. Little brother! Edaman, my brother. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, Law of the Sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. Hi. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. I'm sorry, I can't take my eyes off her abs. Appalling. <laughs> I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise. Okay, bye. Um, okay. Um, that's Mission Tamari, not there yet. Yeah, Deep Secrets. Uh, which one should I get? Knockdown or Balanced Aim? Zero Dawn facility. Finished not long ago, the right side of the world map. I'm working on the Meridian environment now. 